Elizabeth Holmes is charged with defrauding patients and investors during her time as Silicon Valley's golden girl. She was the founder and CEO of Theranos. Her defense team says she was unaware of major problems that were happening inside Theranos' blood lab. In court today, prosecutors continued to chip away at the defense by calling multiple witnesses who worked for Theranos and said they alerted Holmes about the lab's problems. We heard from two former Theranos employees who both felt the blood machines were not nearly accurate enough to be used for patients' blood tests. Theranos' senior scientist, Shirka Gengahedar, said she left Theranos because she believed the machines were not ready to be used on patients. Her testimony is important because she directly reported to Holmes on a routine basis. The other key witness from today was Erica Chong. She testified that she was afraid of the company's executives. Prosecutors showed the jury an email that Theranos' legal team sent to Chong, threatening her with a lawsuit. The email accused her of defamation and leaking confidential company information. It takes guts to come forward at that age, and especially when you're new to the job. And she, I think, was very concerned about the fact that they were using this technology when she was seeing how, in her opinion, it was very inaccurate um, and not reliable results. Um, and then for her to get a letter from a lawyer to say cease and desist and to, you know, uh, uh, I think it probably, as she testified, it very much scared her. And it could be very intimidating. I mean, imagine getting that kind of a letter in your, in your early 20s. So far, three witnesses have testified for the Elizabeth Holmes trial, and we still have 200 more to go. I'm Amy Larson reporting for Cron 4 News in San Jose.